Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and some more Remnant 2 tutorials. Now today we're going to transfer our Steam save to Game Pass and then transfer back from Game Pass to Steam. Now both methods work 100%. I will say make sure both versions of Remnant 2 that is on the Game Pass and also on Steam are updated to the latest version. So first things first, we're going to start the Game Pass version of Remnant 2 and simply create a new character. Now in the footage guys, I am actually offline. Now if you try to do it online and it doesn't work, you can always pull your ethernet cable and go offline and follow the steps. Once in game, I will just go back to the main menu. All right, so now we have our character on Game Pass. We are going to quit out of the game. We're going to grab our Steam saves and place them into the Remnant 2 Game Pass save location. Keep in mind, this is not mandatory. I just do it for ease and convenience. Once again, we have to identify the profile save and our character save. Usually the profile save will be smaller than the character save. Right here, our profile dot save is 30 kilobytes and our character save is 80 kilobytes. I will drag the profile dot save into this folder, copy the text of the game pass save and delete that save. Next, we will paste the text from the game pass save into the profile dot save from Steam. From here, repeat the process with the character data save. I'll just delete the profile save. All right, so now we are ready to go back into the game on Game Pass. All right, and there you have it. Our first transfer has been successful. From here, we are simply going to start the game. In game, as you can see, if we go back to our Game Pass files, a new file has been generated. All right, so now that we are in the game, I'm going to change the character's outfit. All right, simple like that. And all we need to do from here is exit to main menu to generate a save. All right, our save has been generated and there is also a new file in our container. So what we're gonna do is actually delete that file just for ease of convenience. And so we don't run into any problems when we are transferring back to the Steam version. We identify the file by the timestamp. It is the oldest file of the three files here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete it. All right, so now that's been completed, we will simply reverse the steps we did to get the Steam save onto Game Pass, go into the folders, and we're going to get the smaller of the two files and rename it profile.save and rename the other file save underscore one dot save make sure for your character switch you do use the correct number all right so now we have renamed our save files ready for the steam we're going to load the game on steam and there you go, in the game we have our freshly attired character straight from Game Pass. Now once again guys, if you are having problems, start offline and try to follow the steps. You may encounter a few quirks here or there. Make sure you list them in the comments so we can all try to help each other out. Also make sure you join our Discord where we have a very active Remnant 2 community Focus on uh, transferring our saves from Game Pass to Steam and uh, vice versa. Anyway guys, thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next one.